people that were above them in society. The aristocracy will always make up the priestly class, and not just uh, for religious reasons, but remember, these guys are uh, redistributing everything that had been produced, whether that be uh, with any sort of technology or from the earth. Roughly half of the population is going to be dubbed free. They're going to have small parcels of land that they're supposed to use to try to sustain themselves and maybe create something that they might be able to use to make themselves a little bit more wealthy. Everybody else is going to be completely dependent upon the temple and the uh, priest's redistribution of productivity. They're going to have some slaves, but they're usually going to be prisoners of war taken from other city-states, and generally the rule of thumb is you're going to be enslaved for three years if you were Sumerian, but if you weren't, you could be held indefinitely. Because of the uh, earth that was around them, there's going to be a pretty big need to develop things in a technological area. There's not very many mineral deposits, but yet they, were still, man they still managed to become skilled metallurgists, Copper was going to be turned into weapons and tools eventually. It's going to be alloyed with arsenic and made into bronze, which is a lot like copper, except it can be molded and hold its rigid shape a little bit better than wood copper. Going to create the wheel. In particular, going to use that to make pottery and produce high-quality clay vessels. And by 3200 B.C., they're going to show uh, up with four- and two-wheeled chariots that are going to be drawn by donkeys because of their... Uh, effort to try to maximize the use of the little water that they had. They're going to create elaborate irrigation systems and sophisticated methods of measuring and surveying. Uh, it's going to lead to them making pretty complex, complex maps, all with the effort to try and maximize what they're able to do with the, the 